यानी कार्टेजियन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम कार्टेजियन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम सो इन कार्टेजियन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम एक्स वाई जेड वी नाइट सो सपोज आई एम कंसिडरिंग ए पॉइंट एक्स वाई जेड I am representing a point. Suppose this is uh, this is y. So this is y. This is x. And at a distance z. I can compute. This is also z. To complete the entire thing, it is nothing but a cube. It is nothing but a cube. So this is point P. Point P. So this is a y direction. This is a z direction. This is a x direction. This is point cube like this. Now I can define three important terms regarding this. The first one is differential length differential length differential length dl indicated by dl that is if i consider a small box if i consider a small box I consider a small box. If I take a small piece of the box, the differential length of any vector is given by dl is equal to dx ax plus dy ay plus dz az. So differential length dl is given by dx ax bar plus dy ay bar plus dz az bar, where dx is Differential length in x direction. That is this small. This is small. This is dx. Similarly, this is a dy. This is a dz. This is dz. So dx is a differential length in x direction. Dy is a differential length in y direction. Dz is a differential length in z direction. So if I consider a, a small piece, the differential length. Is given by dx ax bar plus dy ay bar plus dz az bar. The second one is differential area. Differential area. Differential area. That is, if I consider a small box again, small piece of the cube. This is x y z. Suppose uh, this is x y plane. We consider this is uh, like this, a small uh, plane. So this is a dy. This is a dx. This is a one plane. So this is also called xy plane. Or z is equal to zero plane. Xy plane. Or z is equal to zero plane. Z is equal to zero means uh, here uh, z value is zero. Only xy present. That is the xy plane. Xy plane means is also known as Z is equal to zero plane. So, if I consider a small uh, differential surface, it has a dy and a dx, where dy and dx are differential lengths. Therefore, differential uh, area uh, is given by ds is equal to ds is equal to dx dy a z cap because the perpendicular uh, vector to this area is Az. So I can represent a Az bar. This is a differential uh, normal area. We can also call it as differential normal area. Differential normal area. So dx is equal to dx dy Az. Similarly, this is also equal to. Suppose if I consider yz plane. 
Why that plane means? X is equal to 0. So if I consider Y that plane like this, a small surface or uh, small plane. So this is a dy, this is a dz. So this is a dx, uh, ax perpendicular. Perpendicular vector is ax. So this is equal to dy dz ax cap. So dy dz, the remaining is x, x is normal. So ax cap. So that is also equal to if I consider only x z plane x z plane this is a dx this is a dz this is a ay this is ay normal one is y so dx dz ay bar dx dz ay bar so this is a differential uh, normal area or differential surface area a differential surface area of a Cartesian coordinate system. So, which one we have to select is based on the problem. Suppose if the problem is in XY plane. Suppose if the problem is mentioned uh, in XY plane. So, XY plane means then we have to consider dx dy az. The differential area, area in XY plane is dx dy az. So, based on problem we have to select a particular differential surface area. So these are the surface area, differential normal areas or differential surface areas of a Cartesian coordinate system. Next one is, third one, differential volume. Differential volume. So this is very simple differential volume dv is given by if you consider a box dx dy dz dx dy dz this is the differential volume of a Cartesian coordinate system. Now for cylindrical coordinate system cylindrical coordinate system so I will give here a simple uh, uh, analysis how to remember the differential length, differential surface and differential volume for this. That is, if you consider a small piece of uh, the cylindrical surface, we are having a row and some rotation A5 and some AZ like this. A row, A5, AZ. That is, We know that here uh, the representation is like this x, y, z this is rho this is the point phi we know that suppose this is radius r this is radius r this is angle theta what this is the arc what is the arc length? R suppose the some small angle d theta R d theta R d theta is the arc length so same concept we can apply here because if you consider a small surface element it has some d rho because of rho d rho some small arc length because of rotation because of rotation which is equal to since it is making an angle with respect to rho rho d phi and uh, some differential element uh, dz in the direction so this is because of rho this is because of phi this is because of uh, z small differential lengths so the first one differential length differential length is dl is equal to because of rho d rho a rho only because of uh, phi phi is here rotation rotation is making an arc of rho d phi so rho d phi a phi rho d phi a phi plus dz that is common dz az bar dz az bar 
So if you compare this with the rectangular coordinate system, rectangular coordinate system making dx dy dz. Here it is rho d phi. Rho d phi is because of angle. Because of angle. So that is if you consider a small piece of the surface, it one, one arc will come. That arc length is rho d phi. Rho d phi. So the differential length is dl is equal to d rho a rho plus rho d phi a phi plus dz dz. Similarly, second one is differential surface. Differential surface. Differential surface. Differential surface is simple. Here we are having three components. D rho, rho d phi and dz components. So the first one is ds is equal to first multiplication of first two. That is d rho into rho d phi in the direction of az. So this is also we can write rho d rho d phi az rho d rho az that is also equal to another two rho d phi dz rho d phi dz so in the direction of a rho that is equal to d rho dz in the direction of a phi in the direction of a phi so these are the three differential surface elements uh, possible similarly third one is differential volume differential volume differential volume that is given by dv is equal to multiplication of all three that is rho into d rho d phi dz rho into d rho d phi dz that is a differential volume so i think you understand why this rho d phi comes rho d phi comes because of a rotation so rotation always gives a arc length so these are the differential length, the differential surface and the differential volume of a cylindrical coordinate system.